Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Wild Country Lifestyle. And today I have a random two days in the life for you um, and a grocery haul and some exciting news. Just kind of like a chatty um, spend some time with me. So that is what today's video is and I hope you really enjoy it. Good morning everybody, happy Monday, and um, I just was outside with Rugs. We went for a walk around the property and then played a little bit, and now I'm about to make some eggs for breakfast. And yesterday I did the beer cart for the first time this year and I made decent money, um, but I was training a girl so I split it with her, so still better than nothing, and it was fun. It was a really good day on the cart, so that was good. And I'm just excited about this week. So in not this weekend, in the next weekend, um, I'm having my bachelorette party at a cottage. So I'm gonna try to like rein in my nutrition for that. So I'm just gonna make some eggs with cinnamon and maple syrup for now until I have to I have to work in about 40 minutes. So um, then later on I have to go grocery shopping. So I'll do a grocery haul. And yeah, we'll just see what we get up to today. So there you have it. We have two eggs with maple syrup and cinnamon and then half a banana. already so hot and humid out. It's gonna be so hot today. I wish we had AC. I'm gonna have to hang out in the basement. Just hanging out on the swing. Waiting for school to start. Letting Ruger play a bit. He seems to be full of energy. I thought he'd be tired because yesterday while I was doing the beer cart, Derek had him all day um, and it was really hot and they were playing a lot so I thought he'd be tired this morning, but he's not. There was also a skunk smell last night, so I was a little worried. And then, um, also, there's a zoo right around the corner from us, and they are missing a bobcat, so... <laughs> I am uh, on the lookout for a bobcat because Ruger likes to chase things. He chased a cat last night, so um, I don't want him to chase a bobcat. And it's probably like five minutes away that it got out, so. On the lookout for a bobcat and just super like appreciative of our property right now. Everything has grown in, all the um, trees and everything. So we have like a corner lot. So we have a perfect almost square that like we can't see anybody else's house. So it's really pretty right now. It feels like you're just like all on your own and I'm just appreciating it because um, we might be moving eventually and I'm gonna miss this place. I really like it. So we got appraised by Realtor. I think that's what it's called, appraised, or they just told us how much their house was worth. And um, it was worth almost triple what we paid for it and a lot more than we owe on it now. So that was like super cool, but um, also like the market's gonna go down a bit, I think. So if we were to get that kind of money, we'd have to sell within the next few months. And I'm not ready for that. I really do enjoy our property. And if I were to move, um, which we're gonna move for my husband's job eventually and to be near my family. But um, if we were to move, I would really need like somewhere amazing to move into. And the prices there are very comparable. So we wouldn't be making any money unless we bought like a fixer upper. 
but to me like the house isn't really that important it's more the property because i do spend a majority of my day outside i just sit or like putter around i just love being outside so the house like you can always fix it up as long as it has good bone structure but the property you can't change that so that's kind of my main concern um what i look for in a house would be a really nice property so we'll see yeah I don't know, but either way, I'm going to miss this place a lot if we ever leave, so. Just enjoying it right now. I've also been really loving biker shorts and a baggy tee lately. I think it's so cute. Um, so I'm going to have to turn my t-shirt around for school. But, yeah, these black biker shorts are from Shein. And this is my husband's shirt. And I've just been loving this look. And it's so comfy. Like, a baggy tee, but and then some, like, tight, comfy bottoms. So comfy. Bye bye. No. Start school now. And I just cleaned all the floors, so that's done. So then I just have to work out and do my groceries. Okay, here is my grocery haul. And I got two things of sparkling water. So I got this shaved beef au jus. This, this is so good. I got it before two weeks ago and we made sandwiches, but you could do anything with it and it's it was really good. Um, cream for Derek's coffee. Two banana yogurts for Derek. One coconut for me. I got this um, Hellman's for in the trailer. It's just a small one. I got this marble cheese. I didn't want lactose free, but that's all they had. Two sweet potatoes. Strawberry pie filling for my dessert that went viral on TikTok. It's at like 600,000 views, I think, and lots of uh, funny comments on that one that I've been replying to. <laughs> um, two of these brioche style breads, 2% milk, turkey bacon, which I tried for the first time two weeks ago, and it was so good. Some chicken broth, a roasted chicken breast and ham, my favorite goldfish, vanilla cupcake. Two sweet chili and sour cream chips. These are our favorite. These um, collection choc uh, ice cream bars. These are really good. We like the cookies and cream, but they didn't have any. Some apples, two things of bananas, um, English muffins, a grain pepper, broccoli, oatmeal rate, chocolate chip cookies, and cotton candy grapes. I'm excited to try these because I've heard good things about them on TikTok, so we'll see if they're good or not. Good morning, so it's a few days later now, and I just had a shower and did my makeup, and then took River out, it's raining, which is amazing, because gosh, we needed rain so bad over here. Um, so I'm just getting ready to start online learning. It starts in 19 minutes. And today is a busy day, so that's why I've already showered because after I have my break, which I need to work out on, so that'll cover that. And then um, after that, I need to leave my house. I have to go to the dollar store and the LCBO for, um, well, the dollar store hasn't been open this whole time, so I get to go check that out which is exciting. And then the LCBO, I need to go because my bachelorette is this weekend. I'm so excited. It's only a year delayed, but better than nothing. So we just rented a cottage. So we're just with like four other girls and um, we won't be like going anywhere or doing anything else. So we'll just stay there all weekend. It does look like it might rain Saturday, but that's okay. So I need to get some alcohol for that. And, um, and then I'm going out on a patio with my other friends, my coworkers actually, so um, I need to, they're done earlier, so I need to meet them there earlier, so that's why I have to leave right after I'm done work and go to the Dollarama and the LCBO. So, busy day, um, but all good things, and yeah, I um, am doing the laundry right now. We might head back to the trailer, tomorrow probably not tomorrow probably thursday and get some paddle boarding in before i leave for the weekend so that is the plan right now i just need to focus on starting work so let's get some coffee and water ready and we're good to go
Okay, so here's my work setup. Um, I do it at the kitchen table. I was doing it at the island, but the island was really hurting my back. So this is a lot comfier. So I had just have my phone, um, my notebooks. I need to get a new one of these notebooks today. Um, my pencil case with a whole bunch of pencils and whatever, rulers and stuff. Um, I have a marker, and then I have my clip, my coffee, my water, and my laptop. So it's usually all that I will need and that is my little setup that I usually do every day when I'm not at the trailer. So I have about 15 minutes but I need to submit a uh, page for insurance but I wanted to tell you about my morning yesterday. It was wild. So I started to work and or no I started to drink my coffee and it was just after my husband left and I heard this like scratching in the basement and I was like what is that and so then I went and looked downstairs and there was this massive bird stuck in our fireplace so it must have like went in the chimney and then it couldn't get out and it was freaking out because it couldn't get out and it was like pecking on the glass so I kept trying to go let it out and um, it would like hide and I was like oh my gosh like I was trying to work I am terrified of birds like I don't mind if they're flying around outside but not in my house because I don't like when animals are panicking because they're so unpredictable so I closed all the bedroom doors and then I opened the two doors for outside and then um, I was like okay hey, no he was like freaking out too much I need to just leave the door open and hope he flies out so I left the door open I was on FaceTime with my friend and um, I left Ruger outside and then the bird came out and then it was like five minutes of me chasing him around my house with a broom trying to get him to leave because he kept going to the windows but our windows have screens so it wouldn't have helped if I opened them and so he was like pooping all over my house freaking out and then I was chasing him around with a broom I was screaming because he was down here and then I play, like poked him with a broom and then he flew over me so I screamed and then he ended up going out the back door what are you doing um he ended up going out the back door but then I went outside to um, go get Ruger and he was hiding in the garage and I couldn't find him anywhere because he was terrified Like he gets nervous when I was screaming. So then I thought I lost him and anyways, it was just just a thing And then my teacher I had to text her because I literally just quit and I was like sorry Like there's a bird in my house. So then she told the kids so the kids all wanted to know about the bird in my house so um, Anyways, it was a very eventful Monday morning But the bird is out and I really hope that never happens to me again when I'm home alone because I did didn't like it at all and some other exciting news that um, we have is that we paid off my car so my car is a 2017 so it was a seven-year loan which I think is kind of normal now five or seven and so I had three years left on it so we paid off my car loan I saved up a bunch of money and then just put it like all on there and that was so exciting because now we don't have any car loans. My husband's truck is paid off. It has been since we bought our house. He has a little um, car he kind of drives back and forth to work with. Um, and so that is was always paid off. He paid cash for it, I think. And so now we have no car loans. So that is so exciting. And I'm super proud of us because I never thought that I wouldn't have a car loan. Like I thought it was just like normal to always have a car loan. But... Anyways, we do want to get an SUV and, um, oh my gosh, my dog's being so needy. Sorry, I had to go put some treats around for him to find. So, we do want to get an SUV, um, and I've been looking at the Mazda CX-5s, but I also have come to, like, the conclusion that they're, like, they're not really that much bigger than my car, like, just the trunk space. So, the back seat, like, I was watching a video and the guy's knees are touching the seat in front of him. And I just like, I don't know, but all like compact SUVs are the same. And I just feel safer in an SUV, it's higher. I've seen so many car accidents where um, it was an SUV and I'm like, wow, if that was a car, like you would've been dead. So I do like how they're higher, they're safer, and they do have more trunk room. Um, anyways, so right now I'm online teaching and I'm hoping to teach online next year also. But um, when I do start working again and have to commute, we will need another car because 
Um, my husband takes my car that we just paid off to work because his other car is um, not really that great on the highway and it's all highway driving. So we will need another car when I start working, but until then we're just gonna save money. So I don't know, I don't know what I want yet. I know I want the Mazda CX-5, but um, I'm not really happy with the leg room in the back, but also like they're all the same unless you get like a bigger SUV, which are like the same price as a truck now. They're like 60 grand for a big SUV because I was looking at like the Ford Explorers and stuff. And part of me is like, okay, hey, well, if we buy that car and then we'll have it for like for a long time when we have kids and stuff. So maybe it's just worth it to invest in the bigger one right away instead of getting one in between and then pay it off like we did with my car, but I don't know, we'll have to decide uh, when the time comes and like look at some options, but if I was gonna get a compact SUV, it's gonna be the Mazda CX-5 because I love it. Um, so that is the update on our cars and very proud of us for that small accomplishment and yeah, better start now and then I will follow up when I'm done. Okay, so I just had a short um, half an hour break. So I did most of my workout. I have seven minutes left. And I know that um, I was, I knew I was doing arm day, so I don't get like overly sweaty, not like yesterday when it's like cardio and stuff. So I'm gonna finish the last six minutes on my next break, but I'm glad I got the majority of it done because that's just like one thing off my list. I don't need to work about it anymore. So fill it in whenever you can. Sometimes I do half a workout now and half a workout later. Like if that, if I feel like I don't have enough time to do the whole thing at once and it just helps break it up and makes sure that I get it in. So that feels good. Six more minutes and then we're done. Okay, this is the first thing I got from Amazon. It's this like higher waisted bathing suit and it goes pretty high at the back, but it's pretty flattering um, for an Amazon bathing suit. And then the top is just this like scoop neck top and it said burgundy, but it's definitely red. So um, that is one thing I'd be careful with, but other than that, it was $30 for the set, and it's so cute and very well-made material, so I would definitely recommend if you just want, like, a cheap bathing suit. Um, not crazy about the red, but I guess I could, like, wear it on Canada Day or something. <laughs> um, I'll definitely wear it because it, it's, like, very secure, so you could wear it like for water sports and stuff, but um, just not the color that I originally had ordered. The other thing that I ordered is this super cute t-shirt dress. It is a medium, I believe, and it fits really well. They didn't have any smalls, or else I probably would have got the small. Um, it fits really well, except for the fact that it's too long, but I'm a shorty, so... Kind of expected that, so but it can be like more of an appropriate dress if you want. But I just keep like pulling it up a bit, and I like it because you could wear it like fancy or casual, and it's so comfortable. Like you literally just feel like you're wearing a nice t-shirt, and it's got like the ruching on this one side, so that's kind of where you have to play with it a bit to make it not look weird, but. It's actually like really cute and I kind of, next time I probably would get the small, but also like it's perfect size up here. So I think if I got the small, it might be a little too tight up there. But other than that, super cute. I just wish that it was a tiny bit shorter. Okay, I'm about to meet my coworkers for lunch. So I just have on these dynamite light ripped tie waisted jeans that are a little snug compared to the last time I wore them. Um, this black bodysuit that's from Garage, and then this kimono that's from Ardeans, and then I'm just gonna pair it with some flip flops. And I'm gonna bring a raincoat because it's like rainy, but we have to sit on the patio, so hopefully the rain holds off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.